The course is called MSc Computing and Information Systems and it's aimed at graduates who don't have a degree in computer science. And uh, it really aims to uh, give all the core skills um, that we think are, are central to computing and then in the second semester and through the dissertation you can specialise in a particular area, for example mobile systems. The modules on the programme are carefully designed to expose students to um, all uh, central areas of computing, particularly in the first semester where uh, all the modules are mandatory. 50% uh, of the content in this first semester is Java programming, obviously programming being a core skill in computing. Um, and the rest of the modules in that first semester really introduce major topic areas within computer science, such as operating systems, networks, database systems, systems analysis and design. Then in the second semester, there's one more core area, database systems, that students take but then also they get to specialise. There are technical areas of specialism such as graphical user interfaces uh, and security and more business oriented options such as um, business technology strategy or business information systems. There are two ways in which students can get some level of industrial experience on the programme. Firstly, they can opt to do an industrial project. So what that would be is choosing a dissertation project that's been put forward by one of our commercial partners. Uh, and that option is open to all students on the programme. The second option is to actually um, to apply for a completely separate programme which has the same title but with the addition of with industrial experience and that includes an up to 10 month placement with an industrial partner. I must emphasize that we don't uh, guarantee those placements, students have to win those placements for themselves but we do support them in putting together a good CV uh, and uh, helping them prepare for interview. An industrial panel informs the development and uh, ongoing sort of uh, updating of all our MSc programmes. Um, so this is made up of uh, a number of representatives from different uh, commercial organisations. On that we have uh, representation from GEC, from ARM, from Microsoft and PA Consulting, uh, for example. And they had a lot of input into the development of this programme and with its uh, ongoing maintenance. Um, plus, uh, we have regular guest speakers from industry, for example from IBM and Microsoft, who um, uh, make regular contributions to different modules on the programme. The academics on the course are all based in um, various research groups uh, from the school. Uh, for example, Fabrizio Smeraldi, who teaches the Java program, um, has a lot of interest in uh, bioinformatics, in, in medical applications of programming, um, but also does a lot of research in pattern recognition and has applied this specifically to human face recognition systems. I've had personal experience of the fact that this course is well known I've had employers calling me from various parts of the country asking if it might be possible to send employees on the programme in situations where those employees have been moved between departments and now need to develop skills on a part-time programme, um, specifically in relation to uh, interactive computing. The career opportunities for this programme are really interesting and exciting, I believe. Students can combine skills from their first degree, say engineering or psychology uh, or geography, um, with their uh, newly found uh, computing knowledge and skills. So for example, they might go into medical applications development or developing geographical information systems. Also, the, the core areas that they're exposed to during the programme equip them for a number of mainstream computing jobs such as database developer, systems analyst, uh, network designer or mobile service uh, designer. There are two ways in which students can get um, a level of industrial experience on the programme. 
Firstly, they can opt to do an industrial project. That is, they do their dissertation project by taking one of the projects put forward by one of our commercial partners. The second way they can get industrial experience is uh, by actually applying for a completely different program which has exactly the same content um, but uh, has the option of doing industrial experience. I have to stress that we can't guarantee these industrial placements. Students have to win them for themselves but we do help them in putting together, helping them to put together a good CV uh, and preparing them for interview. The placements are for up to 10 months and basically take place uh, after the exams in the first year of the programme and before they go on to complete their dissertation in the second year.